Hello, hello again and welcome. And today's video is uh, by a special request of uh, one of my viewers, and it was, and his question was, um, how would I set up accurately uh, to use a, uh, a scribing block or or, uh, or a marking gauge as it's as it's known in uh, some countries? So what I'm going to do now is to uh, swing you around to the bench and uh, and the surface plate, and I'll uh, show you what. Uh, how I would do it. Uh, join me over at the bench in a moment. Bye. So uh, here we are over at the bench and this is my uh, surface plate with uh, various uh, assorted uh, uh, parts on it um, that we can actually use for um, accurately setting up the scrying block. The secret to this is um, having something that you can actually uh, measure as a, as a known reference, I mean, I mean, it it, it can be it can be anything. Cause as an instance, I mean, there's there's a there's a, a, a Joe block or slip gauges, as as, as people uh, other people call it, um, uh, a planer gauge, uh, feeler gauges, uh, drill bits, standard stock, even a nut and washer on a piece of paper, uh, an, an adjustable mini jack made out of a eight millimeter. Uh, joining nut and uh, and screw. I mean, you could actually use absolutely anything that you that you've got that you could actually measure with a micrometer or a vernier to, to, to get the size that you need. Um, so what I will um, proceed to do now is to um, uh, show you, show you a few examples. Now, the the other main thing is that you've got to ensure is 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 the point on your. Um, marking gauge or scribing block is absolutely dead sharp. You know, actually all oh, you know, prick prick your finger on the end because that's that's gonna be the secret of actually getting an and uh, an accurate mark. So um what I'll do now is is I'll uh, I'll just run through a uh, uh two or three of these these um items that I've got here just to just to give you an example of, 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 of how to do it. So um Join me in a moment. I'll, I'll clear some of this away, get rid of some of the clutter, and we'll um, I'll uh, show you a few methods. I'll catch you in a moment. Now, what I'm showing here in in very very close up is is the um, uh, scribing blocks set up, uh, and this 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 is a this is a, a Joe block that I've got here, a slip gauge, and and I've put some. Uh, um, uh, Sharpie on the top. Now, ideally, you really ought to use a um, if you've got them, use use the protective cover as well, so that you'll uh, you know you don't actually damage it. But so, but this this one it, it it's, it's just a spare one out of the set. So the idea is 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 that you've got to have your um, let's find something to point with. Um, you've got to have your um, scriber point here absolutely absolutely dead sharp. You know, prick your finger on it, and it really needs to be pointing down so that the point is the only thing that is going to um, touch the part. So, and the, and the idea thing is is is, is to say, get my hand in the way. You actually you you you, could, you pass it underneath it, and you keep adjusting the. You know, I'll, I'll zoom back in a minute and show you this uh, in a minute. Um, but you keep adjusting it just until it it scratches the. It's put a little. Um, uh, it's put a it's put a scratch on the marquee, so it's in, in in the sharpie, so that we know um, that you're that you're right on. So what I'll do is I will uh, I will uh, um, come back a bit, come back a bit. Why are we coming back a bit? Yeah, you see, there's the there's the there's the setup, and all I, all I was actually doing was I was adjusting this fine adjusting screw at the back, which which tilts the uh, pointer up and down. Now. Um, I noticed with with a Joe block, I mean it, it can it can it can apply to anything. I mean if you, if you haven't got those, um, machine yourself up a um, a little bit of where are we over here? You know, little little, little bit of uh, any material. Not face that. Assume you've got a lathe, of course. Face it up there um, to your known size. So you can use absolutely anything that you actually um, that you've got um, that is that is a known size. Um, I mean even. And and, and 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 don't be don't be frightened to to, to uh, I mean even even use um, you know if you've not got something that's exactly right um, you know but you only you know a few thousand thick well you know put a piece of paper on it I mean that 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 paper you can you can say you can mark the whole thing up 
um, use anything you like to to to, um, to to set to set your height. Um, right, we will uh, show you another um, uh, something else you can use. As I say, what what I'll do in a minute, I'll I'll, I'll spread the other things out, and 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 that's, I think that's what I'll do next. Is is I'll I'll put the things on here of, of, that you can use to set the things in this orientation. I'll be back in a moment. Right, so um, just as an illustration, um, as I say, we've got here, so there's, there's, there's the Joe block. You can use any material you like, you know, if you're placing on a lathe. As long as you can actually measure up with a micrometer or a burn, you're okay. So standard nut and bolt. Now make sure, that, of course, that, that, that you know that the, the head is nice and flat. I mean, this bolt's got writing on it, so you have to make sure that there's, there's no, um, no markings on it. Say, so planar gauge. Um, and of course, uh, power, and, you, and you can use this for, for any height. I mean, I'm just illustrating. You know, this is this is only uh, low stuff. But I mean, if you've got something, you know, you you need to measure the summit that's that's six inches up. Well, obviously, you can you can um, uh, use anything that you've got. You know, stack parallels up or whatever. Of course, bear in mind, of course, you say you've got the you've got feeder gauges as well. So if you haven't got something that's exactly right, you can you know usually you can get away with with a feeder gauge and just. Just put that, uh, you know, on top on top of the part as well. You know, while you're while you're um, um, checking the height. Um, so what I'll do now is I will just show you a um, something else that you can uh, that you can do if it if it's if it's if it's um, uh, low down. So hang on a moment, and I shall be back. Now another option you can use if it if it's um, relatively um, uh, small distances, although it although it doesn't matter, it, it, it could be any size as long as you've got a piece of round material. It's right size. So I mean, say for argument's sake, is I mean this 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 is a piece of standard stock, and the idea is 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 that again you can either put sharpie on it or you can feel it. If you just roll it and keep adjusting the 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 um, the screw and, 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 and until it just catches. Um, you know, till 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 it, till it just just yeah, are we able to do that? Yeah. A little bit down, a little bit more. Yeah, and that, and and, and that, that 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 that's just that's just cat, that's just catching there. You can use you can use a um, standard drill bit, um, but just make sure that um, when you take it out, that um, you know that the shank is is nice and smooth. You know, if it's been spinning around in a chuck, you know, you you've got to make sure that you've. Uh, you know, get rid of any burrs, and likewise again, you can you can you can do you can do, do the same as that. See that? See that? Now that won't that won't quite roll under there, so that will need a slight adjustment. Um, but say so you can you can do it with uh, with sharpie as well. Um, what other option is there that we can actually do? Ah, yes. Um, another one is 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 a tele if, if you've got a set of telescoping gauges or, or snap gauges, as some people call them. Set this to the dimension that you actually want um, with a micrometer, and then ensuring that it's that it's that it's. Um, I'll just move it out of the way. Ensuring that it's uh, that it's upright. You know, put it up against a um, you know a, a square surface, and again, just 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 brush over the top until it uh, until it removes the sharpie or, or that you can feel it. So um, hope that's um, helping a bit. Um, what other options do I have to tell you? Right. Ah, yes. Right. Um, in case you haven't um, seen it, um, if you go and look at my um, precision centre punching, I mean, there's 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 quite a bit on there of saying about um, actually when it comes to marking out. Um, not a great fan of this um, diacom stuff. You put it on there, and, and, and a lot of people are, are, you see that you know they, they, all they all they've done is they, they've just barely scratched the they they barely scratched the. Um, the dark them off. Really, what you actually want to do is, is you actually want to physically um, embed the the, um, the the pointer actually into the material, so that you can actually get a um, you can you can actually feel it. So um, yeah, right. Hang on a minute. We'll see what else we can uh, come up with. Yes, as I was saying a moment ago, um, you know, don't be frightened to when you actually mark it. Give it give, give it give it a good good it a good. Um, a good go. Don't don't uh, push your foot around and, and, and give a nice crisp line, and we can make that out. Yes, there, there, yeah, there it is. There, and I and I can I can actually feel that. 
can actually feel that with my fingernail. So I mean, there's no chance of uh, of you losing that when uh, you know when when you come to machine. That's that's the biggest problem with with um, Dicom type things. It, it it comes off so easy. Either either the coolant or or a bit of swarf comes off and it, and it scratches it away. So you know, get yourself a nice line that you can still see. I mean, you can still use Dicom if you want to, or or some other product. I've, I quite often use Sharpie just just to just to show where the line is. But at least then I've got a physical got a physical um, position um, just there, I can definitely feel that with my finger now, of, 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 of where, to, where the machine to. So um, I'm hoping you can understand this this uh, waffle and things. Um, but I think what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll um, close this for now and we'll um, conclude it. See you again in a moment. Bye. Oh, so there we are. I hope you could uh, understand all my uh, wafflings and ramblings there and hands getting in the way etc but say so the main the main key to the um, getting accurate dimensions is having something that of, of that size to start with you know be it whatever you machine up or cobble together as long as, as long as you've got the dimension you want that you've checked it with a micrometer or, or a um, or a vernier and then as I say um, ensure that your scriber point it's absolutely prick sharp, have it pointing downwards so that we know that it's only the point that is touching on the on the on the reference surface. And away you go. As I say, and I, I reckon that, that that you know you you can be better than two 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 thou or better um, um, doing it that way. Um, I mean, I've had, I've had no, no problems doing it over the years. Not that not that I do a terrible lot of marking out these days, because what with the old. Uh, DRO on behind me, you know, it, 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 it's easier to do it on there, so um, Okay, I think we'll uh, we'll close this down. So once again, thanks again for watching um, Please subscribe, please ring the bell, click the likes, whatever and wherever you are in the world Stay safe, happy and well and to catch you on the next one. Bye That's all folks